What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video and we are talking about the new and improved lightning spell and take a look at that. This is crazy the way people are using this new lightning spell. Um, we're going to take a look at all kinds of attacks today. Focusing on Town Hall 13, I know I have some viewers that are lower Town Hall levels and the reason we're doing Town Hall 13 is I am currently in an all 13 war. So as soon as I'm back into a regular war, I'll be showing all kinds of different Town Hall levels. But let's focus at Town Hall 13. How are people using this new Zap Quake combo to really open up bases for Lalo and some other army compositions have a bonus hog attack that uses this at the end of the video. So make sure to watch the entire thing so you don't miss that one. Um, but the bases that have the Eagle and the Queen and the CC all right next to each other are prime targets. This one, using the Zap Quake to take out the Eagle, the Queen, and a bonus Air Sweeper. Sui's his own Queen for the Town Hall. Gets the King over there to take out a Tesla Farm and also the Royal Champion. So much value from each of these different operations. The, um, uh, his own Royal Champion used up at the top there. Take out a few defensive buildings. Then that Stone Slammer coming in for the Scatter Shot. So at Town Hall 13, um, when we're talking about Lalo, there's a lot of different uh, things on the base that make it tricky to do a, a proper Lalo attack. You have the scatter shots, um, which you have to deal with. They can take out your balloons real quick. You have the defensive heroes. You have the eagle. But you have all these different tools now with the addition of the Zap Quake to neutralize these before you even start your Lalo. As we can see here, um, that last... Uh, scatter shot was a bit of an issue, but once that went down, it's mostly smooth sailing. Uh, the warden, warden's abilities hit because he gets locked on to, and um, there's going to be enough balloons to take out the remainder of the base here. So, I mean, look at all the tools you have, though. You have your three heroes, um, king, queen, royal champion. You can kind of suey those at the beginning, uh, get good value in different places, take out scatter shots and whatnot, take out the town hall. You have your siege machine, which can be used as a battle blimp to target something inside the base, or a stone slammer to kind of path along at some defenses that might be kind of uh, don't have a whole lot of coverage, and you can take advantage of that. Um, and then you have the, the zap quake now, of course, that can be used to take out the defensive queen or defensive royal champion uh, on top of a defensive building like the eagle. Seven earth, uh, se sorry, seven lightning spells and one earthquake will take out the queen uh, and the eagle. You actually only need six lightning spells to take out the queen, I believe. Okay, let's take a look at some of the other clan's attacks too. This is an ongoing war, but I wanted to um, get this out there as soon as possible, guys. Um, so forgive me for showing some of our bases, but they're going to have to change in this new meta. Um, as you're building your, your new bases, especially uh, at Town Hall 13, it looks like, be sure to not put your queen right next to your eagle. That is a great way to have them both um, get taken down. Now on this attack, the uh, queen was not tried for. Instead, uh, using the uh, lightnings to take out the eagle and the uh, CC. So the CC can be a good... Uh, thing to get taken down um, and might be even more valuable than the queen in some circumstances especially if you're going to use your own king and queen uh, on kind of a suicide mission here to get some value um, they can take out defensive hero heroes a lot easier than they can take out cc troops um, so it kind of depends on what your plan is because if you look at a lalo attack um, oftentimes the cc if they start attacking your balloons and your lava hounds they're not going to be that much of a problem it might only be like a you know, a Lava Hound in the CC, which won't even come out, and then maybe like some Archers or a Witch, which you can poison. Um, alternatively, if that goes to your heroes, it'll really, you know, hold up your Queen especially, and also uh, your King potentially. So you would want to get the CC taken out. The On the other hand, though, uh, if the defensive Queen is still alive and you're doing a Lalo, it's much trickier. She does a lot of damage, and your... Um, Unless there's something in your Lalo that can target her, like a skeleton spell, um, she's going to be up for a long time. So in that circumstance, you'd want her to go down to the Zap Quake. Um, so it really just depends, you know, what to Zap Quake based on what the rest of your plan is for your attack. Now on this one, the Siege Machine of choice was the Blimp, and the reason he hits the ability early is because he's just protecting that Blimp so it can get all the way to the Town Hall. Of course, also getting all the other balloons in the warden's tome as well but the blimp targets the town hall directly because it's pretty far back wants to get that neutralized before the balloons even have to deal with it 
So that was a really cool uh, technique you guys just saw there, sending in the blimp kind of with the, the loons uh, going out in front of them and taking out that town hall so they don't even have to deal with it. Very cool stuff there. Um, we will fast forward to the end and uh, continue on with some other cool examples of this. Okay, moving down just a couple here. Um, looks like they're a little bit farther ahead in learning this strategy than we are, ju just judging by the number of three stars uh, in this war. They're doing a little bit better than us. Um, but I always, always enjoy showing other clans' attacks as well. Um, even you know, even if we're going to lose the war, which might end up happening, um, you know, good attacks are good attacks. So in this case, uses the Zapquake to, it looks like, take out the scatter shot and then also take down the Eagle and the CC. Now one thing to note that I have noticed using this myself is it seems like the Lightning Spell can definitely reach a lot, um, a pretty wide range or radius, I guess. When you're dropping it on buildings, you can see the CC goes down, Scattershot, Eagle, as long as they're kind of all, you know, their corners are touching more or less, um, it's pretty reliable. So if they're diagonal from each other, uh, even with a wall in between them, like in this circumstance, it works out pretty well. They all go down. Um, if you're trying to take out the defensive queen, it seems to me, and maybe you guys can confirm this in the comments section, it seems like you have to drop it directly on top of the queen. Otherwise, the damage is kind of dissipated and doesn't uh, tend to do as much, doesn't take her out ultimately. So you know, if you want to take out the queen, drop it directly on the queen. Um, even if it's not directly on the defensive building you want to take out, it's more important that it goes right on her head <laughs> um, than, than it goes right on top of whatever else you're trying to get down at the same time. So anyway, Lalo comes through here. Uh, the Sui got good value. And then once again, we have this late battle blimp coming through. And this is a very cool technique, guys. Um, as the balloons are kind of meandering about, the Warden's ability is going to be used early. So what it does is it protects the balloons and also ensures that the, um, the battle blimp gets all the way to the uh, town hall because sometimes it might hit a Seeking Air Mine and might not make it. But the Warden's Tome does work on the Battle Blimp. Spells do not, but the Warden's Tome does. So it ensures the Battle Blimp makes it. Now you gotta be careful that you're not too late because you can see a, a bunch of balloons that were just regular balloons died in the explosion of the Town Hall. So you gotta make sure your balloons aren't gonna get there um, too quickly because if everything gets to the Town Hall at the same time, uh, your balloons are going to you know, take that damage because the Warden's Tome is going to have worn off. So just be sure if you do this that the uh, Battle Blimp will get to the Town Hall, get it taken out before your balloons are in the area. So keep that in mind. Anyway, um, things finish up here. A Dragon in that type of Battle Blimp is pretty standard along with some balloons. That way the Dragon can just survive the explosion a little better than those balloons can. And it can also take out um, any air skeletons or... CC archers, whatever the case may be. Um, but in that case, there, there was no CC. <laughs> um, one more of their attacks, then we'll get to that, that mysteri mysterious bonus attack I've been talking about. Um, we'll, we will see what that is. But anyway, this one, using the dragons. So not just Lala with this, guys. You can use um, other army compositions, as we'll see in these last two attacks. Um, so first, going to start off with the lightning spells. And looks like he's waiting for the queen to line up in the perfect spot. You got to be patient. Um, one thing is the queen will always go to each little checkpoint around her altar. So she has a, a readily defined number of stops she makes in her circle. And as you're scouting the base, you can see where the queen stops. Now what changes is how long she spends at each stop. I, I I'm pretty sure, I'm like 95% sure that that was true, what I just said. Um, so she might stay for like two seconds, she might stay for like a fraction of a second at each little location. So you gotta be ready, because um, she might only pass by that, that nice spot you're looking to drop the lightning spells. She might only pass by that and stop for like a fifth of a second. So you gotta be quick if that's the case. Just be ready with those lightning spells, zoomed in on your, uh, iPad, iPhone, flip phone, whatever you're using to play Clash, zoomed in as, as far as possible and just ready to drop those lightning spells. 
that should of course be the first thing you do. Um, <laughs> it would be kind of weird to uh, try to time it so you do something else first. Just You have 30 seconds before the clock starts. Um, the queen is going to pass that spot probably twice within that 30 sp second span, so you can you can get it done th uh, sometime around then. Anyway, the Sui heroes coming in, taking out the scatter shot, queen coming in to that nice little moat. CC being down is so nice for the um, for the Sui heroes um, because you, your heroes can go places they previously couldn't just because the CC would come out in like lava hound or an ice golem or you know skeletons from a witch would you know hold them up. Now that's not the case. You can lightning down the CC, assuming it's next to the eagle or the queen. You need to get some other value, of course. Um, but you, you do that, and then you can have your heroes walk into these little gaps in the base that previously would have been problematic if you tried that. Um, so that makes the dragon funnel so much sweeter, and they tear through the base here, taking everything out. Obviously, you can't use bat spells, so you got to make sure you have everything uh, more or less accounted for on the base. Um, you can't have a whole lot of back end air defenses or in this case the single infernos weren't that big of a deal but ideally there's not a lot of big dragon killers sitting on the back end because once the the dragons are done with their rages they are not very quick at moving through the base so you got to be careful um, if you're not having any bat spells because the bats are kind of that uh, nice quick back end uh, attack composition more or less and you don't have the benefit when you're using the, the uh, lightning spells. Okay, we've seen some Lalo, we've seen some dragons, and this one is not going to be a three star. I actually um, just did my hits recently, as you can see. Uh, fortunately, my base hold held up, uh, but I have not done well attacking wise this war. This one was so close, I got to show it. it was, I was really hoping I'd be able to show it, and I'm going to show it anyway because I was so close. Um, apologies if I'm burning a base here, but, um, you know, it'll probably change this base, you know, with the meta and everything. Whatever helps me sleep at night after I upload this video. Um, okay, so what we're doing here is the lightning spells on the queen and the scatter shot. Scatter shot's a great thing to take out with the queen, and you can see... For whatever reason, the queen didn't go down. I'm still trying to figure out how to do this right because I have seen six lightning spells take down a queen before. Now, maybe it's the case that she's level 74 and she has too many hit points. That might be it. I didn't even think of that at first. Um, so maybe you have to do seven lightning spells once the queen is upgraded past level 70. We'll have to look into that more. But um, the, the idea was to get the scatter shot and the queen down two things need to get down for the hog attack. Now, what else do we need? Well, we, we need the other sca scatter shot, ideally the other two heroes. Heroes and scatter shots are for whether it's hogs or Lalo especially, but any attack, um, defensive heroes and scatter shots are great things to get taken out with those initial operations you're doing in your attack. Um, but especially, especially hogs and Lalo. So in most of the attacks we've seen today, that's why we're tr trying to take out down these scatter shots, trying to take down um, these defensive heroes, and also the eagle is always important to get down. So what I did here is I sued my three heroes. Uh, the royal champion will take down the eagle. This is where I lost the three star right there. My freeze misses the royal champion. Had that freeze been used correctly, um, the single inferno would have gone down, the royal champion would have gone down. It just would have been so much better. Um, the wizard tower even may have gone down because my battle blimp now comes in, has yetis and a valk. They'll get the royal champion down, I believe. Um, or maybe they won't. Actually, no, they're not going to. Um, so that definitely hurt, especially the queen not taking down the royal champ. Now, you may have noticed the defensive queen did go down, and that is because the uh, my royal champion locked on to her, which was very nice. Um, I thought I still had a pretty good chance at this point, and I think I did. You can see the poison spell takes out the CC. This was a cleanup attack, so I didn't have to be worried about a dragon or anything. Um, but typically a poison spell can protect those hogs for whatever's in the CC, for the most part. Now, the ability was a little early, and I recognized that once I hit it, so I had to put that heal spell down a little uh, sooner than I would have liked. I would have liked to heal closer to this wizard tower, ideally. Um, so... Maybe I could have waited a little bit longer on that Warden's ability uh, 
something had to had to be adjusted there because the hogs are just do not have enough to take out these remaining defenses especially with the royal champion still being alive that was kind of a a bit of a deal breaker so i i like the hogs um paired with lightning spell now it would have been interesting if i had just lolloed this base would it have been easier would it have been harder um you can make the argument anything you can hog you can lolo even easierly is that a word even easier um but i don't know we'll have to play around with this more and see if hogs are a good pair i always love the hogs i have a soft spot for them you saw in my last video uh talking about the headhunter and the hogs we'll see more of the headhunter hog combo for sure reason we haven't seen it um, in this war is because the headhunter is not allowed yet in league play there's like a week uh, cooldown. They don't want to rush it into the league play before everyone has access, I think is the idea. Um, that being said, hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to um, to try out this if you're a Town Hall 13 or a Town Hall 12 or a Town Hall 11. Like I said, I'll cover those Town Hall levels more um, in the next few days uh, with the, all the new troops we're seeing. But lots of cool stuff from this update. Let me know how, uh, how it's been going for you in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, ISECT, in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.